Hey everybody, I'm Delicia and thanks for stopping by the Cigar Vixen channel. Today I'm very excited to be introducing this pairing to those of you who may or may not have tried it before. It is the Diplomatico Rum and the Diplomatico Cigar by Mombacho. So it's not often, in fact, I can't think of another occasion where there's actually a spirit that I can pair with a cigar that was purposely blended for you know, that particular marriage of flavors. So that is something that, again, unique and just very exciting to share with all of you, as well as the fact that the Mombacho um, Diplomatico cigar made my list this year of top five cigars for the entire year. It's a fantastic stick alone. And then again, paired with the Diplomatico rum, it's just it's phenomenal. So <laughs> without further ado, I'm going to jump right in. As you can see, I've already poured my rum and a little bit of background um, briefly on Diplomatico rum. It is a Venezuelan rum. It's, it's, it's incredibly rich in aroma and flavor. Um, you can actually pick up a bottle in a lot of different locations. So that was one of the things that I liked. It's tough when you, there are things that I recommend that are hard to find, for, especially for a lot of you that are watching from different regions of the world. Um, you should be able to find Diplomatico rum in a number of spirit um, locations. So I actually picked up a bottle for around 37 bucks at Total Wine and More, and I have seen it at various locations. So again, you should be able to find it, and that should be in the ballpark of the price range. It should be anywhere from, again, uh, around 37, all the way up to like $42, somewhere within that range, again, depending on where you buy it. It does come in a beautifully shaded, uh, kind of a dark green coloring of the bottle itself. It reminds me of something that you would see, um, you know, back in the old days. I mean, it has kind of like that vintage appeal to it, which I don't know, to me makes it appear a little bit more uh, rich and just a little bit more kind of um, something that makes me want to drink it. Even before I knew anything about this rum, um, it was actually served to me, uh, believe it or not, at a Mombacho event. This was years ago. This was before they had anything, as far as I know, as far as anything in the works of collaborating on creating a cigar. This was just, um, you know, people that smoke cigars that like rum and it was at the event and it was the first time I had it and just I mean the bottle itself was was attractive to me because it was like wow this is different you know most bottles you see they you know they're, they're just clear glass and you can see the spirit inside of it and this one just had like a whole different approach to the shape to the again the the overall aesthetics of it and it was just kind of eye-catching um, at the time and then when I had it of course it was like oh wow um, prior to that, I had had some other favorite rums and then this one quickly took the place of them because it's just a very unique experience. Um, also, I tend to lean a little bit on the sweeter side of things because I drink my rums neat. Um, in fact, I rarely do I mix them in any cocktail or anything like that. I just like to sip on my rum neat while I smoke a cigar. And so this um, Diplomatico rum was just phenomenal with the the sweetness and again that rich flavor that comes through and um, just really enjoyed it. So this has been a few years now of being very familiar with uh, this rum. So then when I saw Mombacho doing the collaborating with that cigar, I was just so excited to try it. And then again, the cigar came through with just, just this amazing overall experience. And again, it can stand on its own. Both of them can stand alone, but when you put them together, um, it's just like a perfect marriage of, again, flavor and just the overall experience because that's one of the things that uh, Mombacho has always really put forward was the experience. And that's really what they give you in every cigar that they've brought out. And anytime you visit them, you know, at the Casa Favili, if you have a chance to go to Granada in uh, beautiful Nicaragua, you will get an experience. I mean, it's more than just smoking a cigar. It's the overall experience of, you know, what was happening and, you know, have those moments, those mambacho moments. So I was really happy to see the collaboration. But again, here I go rambling. I'm going to get right into the rum. And again, I already poured it so you can see it. It does have a very kind of a caramely amber color to it. It does have a slightly thicker viscosity and you can see that kind of on the 
you know, the legs all on the glass itself. Now the legs are not skinny, so they're not running into single little tiers. They're actually kind of coating similar to the cognac. I mean, it's kind of coating the whole uh, glass here and then coming down almost in one um, with the actual, just, um, I, guess, I, I guess the best way is just to refer to the viscosity of it. It's really nice. Um, so again, the color is there. I'm gonna go ahead and nose it. Now I purposely chose this kind of uh, cognac glass for this particular rum because the aromas are just really, really out there. They're very strong, um, again, very rich. So normally when I do pairings and I'm introducing a spirit, uh, I like to use a Glencairn, but this one again, because I've already, one, I'm familiar with it, but two, because of those really strong aromas, I mean, you, you can afford to put it in this kind of goblet and still obtain the, you know, that nice aroma right away. I mean, you get, you get a vanilla, the, the vanilla is right in the front of things. There's a background of an oakiness, but it's somewhat subtle, but you can, you can pick it up. You pick up also kind of like that sweeter, almost a molassesy feel to the aroma. It's a little bit of tobacco in there. And then there's also a fruity element, which to me kind of reminds me of a kind of a pineapple-y, fruity, sweeter, citrusy type of, of fruit in there. So that's really nice. I'm going to go ahead and sip on it. Hmm. Oh, that's nice. Again, right away, you actually, it's funny, it's, there's a spice, but it's sweet. So you get the sensation of the spice. Um, there's a, there's a tad of the alcohol you can, you can feel, but it, again, it's, it's masked very nicely with this super spicy, feel and then the taste of a sweetness. So um, again, funny uh, with the pineapple, you kind of just get that like overall, especially if you, when you, when you take that sip and you really let it sit in there and then you, you know, breathe out once it's gone, um, you just pick up that little bit of pineapple essence. And then you definitely get, again, a very rich, very full taste profile, um, nutty, you pick up again with that spice sensation, you get the cinnamons, you get the nutmegs, you get the vanilla for sure. A um, little bit of a, of a lighter, woodier, kind of that oakiness, but it's not very strong. You, you have to kind of feel for that. I mean, it's not upfront in your face. You definitely are greeted with just this full array of spice and then a very nice, um, almost caramel, vanilla sweetness, just really, really nice. Brown sugar, you can pick that up in there. It, it has a nice longer finish, very silky. Um, almost creamy. It's really just, just sensational. I, I'm a huge fan, if you can't tell. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna set this down for just a moment and I'm gonna go ahead and light up this gorgeous Diplomatico cigar by Mombacho Cigars. And I'm doing the Petite Corona because I, for me, it's just a, it's a size that I just absolutely adore. And it's nice for the amount that I poured um, I'm just kind of sipping on it today. I'm not trying to sit here for hours on end and um, get into too much of the bottle. So this is a great size for that. <clears throat> and then again, <clears throat> and then again, a recap of this cigar it has a beautiful Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, a Nicaraguan Jalapa binder, Nicaraguan Nicaraguan with Condega, Esteli, and Jalapa for the filler. Again, this was blended by Claudio Scroy. He's a 
a genius over there at Mombacho, a humble genius, by the way, super knowledgeable. If you ever get the chance to sit with him, pick his brain about what he does. Again, he's very humble, so he won't brag about all that he does, but he's incredibly knowledgeable, has a, um, a very long, extensive history and overall portfolio in the cigar industry. And then again, bringing that to Mombacho um, has just really done wonders and, uh, and some amazing things. Again, um, couldn't meet a more down-to-earth person that just will sit and go over these different flavors and how to smoke and how to get the most from your smoking experience again. Uh, just very, very cool. So I'm going to go ahead and light this baby up. And again, it's nice to see these types of collaborations. Um, there are, I, I believe there's a few types of, I won't call them similar, but I'll say the idea of, let's say it's a, um, a spirit and they have, there's a cigar that maybe has the same name or vice versa, but they're more of kind of um, gimmicky versus actually demonstrating like this passion and craft for really taking notice of these different flavors and purposely selecting tobacco leaves to create something that is just perfect for you know in this case um, diplomatical rum so it's just a real treat to see that and a real treat to share it with all of you hopefully you guys get the chance to do the same in your own homes or with friends create an experience a mombacho moment Even though it's been um, a minute or so since I've had the rum in there, you can still, you know, it's resonating on the palate. And then when you introduce the, the cigar to it, um, the spiciness hits different parts of your palate. And so you're still getting alone, you get a little bit more of a, of a black pepper and a cayenne pepper mix. But then again, with already having a little bit of that rum just in the palate, it makes the black pepper and the cayenne pepper almost emulate that cinnamon spice. So it's kind of like all of them together, but it's really nice. Um, again, having smoked a lot of these cigars on their own, I'm very familiar with the, with the notes that come through by itself. And then again, when you're introducing them together, it's just, um, it's like they were blended on purpose. No, it's really just um, quite the experience. What I love about this cigar too is the amount of smoke is perfect. It's not so much that, you know, you're just in this cloud where you can't see out of it, but it's also not so faint that you don't get any aroma. It leaves this very inviting aroma surrounding it. You're picking up, I mean, even still right now on the finish, it has a longer finish as well. Really, really getting that cinnamon spice on the tongue. Um, again, initially you get a little bit more of the black pepper flavor and then it just really transforms into like a full on cinnamon spice, which is very nice. Um, you do pick up an earthiness to it as well. And then of course, together with the, with the rum, which let me take another sip of that to really uh, remind myself. It's funny because there was that little bit of oak that you could pick up in the background when you had the, the rum on its own, but with the cigar, really pulls out that oakiness to it. Mm. And it also seems to, because the rum is so sweet, the cigar actually brings it back to being kind of, still sweet, but not, it doesn't seem as sugary. It seems a little bit more of the toned down, almost like a caramel. And then again, you get those earthy notes and it's pulling out the oak very nicely. Still has a great amount of spice, but again, that spice is more on the cinnamon side of things versus the black pepper, but um, just excellent. I mean, this just, um, this definitely one. I mean, I always recommend that you guys try what whatever I have, you know, on the videos for the day, 
but um, this is certainly one that I mean try your best to get out there and grab both of these so that you can really have this experience it's just wonderful it's an incredible amount of flavors even for those of you I know there's a lot of you that watch that say hey I don't pick up those flavor notes I don't even know how you get those like what are you talking about you don't have to be or or have like this expert palette to enjoy something like this it's just pretty straightforward on the flavors but they're just they're nice and then if you are somebody that does pick out those specialty you know notes you'll really get the complexity behind it as you sit and go through the whole uh, cigar and then you know your rum as well but just really nice um, I'm gonna go ahead and sit here for a little bit longer I'm gonna smoke this down probably about halfway or so uh, keep sipping the rum and then I'm going to come back one more time to talk about any other flavors or any other special additions that have come through. So coming back for one last quick little check-in with the Mombacho Diplomatico Cigar and the Diplomatico Rum. Just phenomenal pairing. I mean, other than to tell you how much I recommend that you try it yourself, I don't know how else to put into words. It's just it's just really, really damn good. You know, I mean, the flavors, again, alone, if you were to have the rum, you're going to get that really nice sweetness. It's very rich. It's very complex. Uh, when you introduce the cigar to it, however, the cigar tends to pull out a little bit more of the oaky notes and a little, little bit of even like an earthiness kind of in the profile that's somewhat underlying in the rum. And then vice versa, when you smoke the cigar by itself, you're getting more you still get a very rich and deep profile however when you introduce the rum to the cigar it pulls out a little bit more of the sweeter notes in the cigar so again together they just marry so nicely um, it's just yeah you just have to try it so hopefully you guys get the chance to do that and i'd love to read your comments if you have if you've tried just the rum or if you smoke just the cigar if you've had them together if you plan on having them all of those things um, definitely chime in i'd love to read through the comments i thank you guys so much for all the nice things that you guys say and then for participating in the video by just adding those comments is really really nice so um, definitely be sure to post if you do have either or or both preferably on instagram you know hashtag um, mombacho moments i love that one that's just this is such a nice mombacho moment here, but definitely one to be shared with great company if you can. Um, if not by yourself, it's fine too. But again, cheers to all of you watching and thanks so much. See you next time.